Welcome to the sofa. Welcome to Red Carpet Screening. Are you enjoying it so far? Amazing. Um, can I just say, I think we should have a round of applause for Seb for putting on a fantastic yeah. evening. Yeah. Yeah. you embarrassed first. Oh, boy. no, no, no. <laughs> thank you so much. Thank you. And thank you very much, everyone, for coming. It really, it means everything. It really does. So thank you. So. So. Your film. The film. Yes. Well, tell me, what are we actually about to see? You're not actually going to see um, a finished film. What we're about to show you is a slightly extended promo for a feature film that myself and Harriet wrote a couple of years back that we recently produced. Three Fantastic. years back. Three years back. Um, and finally got around to filming it at the start of this year. Wonderful. So this is a kind of exclusive, never before seen footage of that film. So. Exclusive, ladies and gentlemen. See never before seen. There you go. <laughs> so, what's it about? What's it about? What's it about, about? Um, <laughs> Boiled down, it's about, it's sort of a missing person story, in a, right. in a sense. It's, a, it's got, it's two different plot lines sort of on top of each other. It's sort of missing persons with a bit of gangs. And yeah, really it's, um, it's a kind of dark, gritty thriller. It's about a father trying to find his missing daughter. Crikey. And he's been away from this town for a couple of years. And when he gets back... It's finds gone a, to the dogs. <laughs> yeah, it's overrun by these powerful, elusive <laughs> gangs. So, w were there any particular towns um, that gave you any kind of uh, well, influence with this? We looked Choose really your words hard carefully. to find the yeah, right location to film it in. Really um, we kind of settled on Basingstoke. Really? <laughs> Don't know why. <laughs> excellent, excellent. Okay. Um, that's, that is indeed. <laughs> amazing Stoke. Yeah. So, really within this, so it's a, a feature film. Mm -hmm. um, roughly, when do you uh, plan on actually screening the actual premiere? Before roughly. the end of October. Ah, definitely. Okay, excellent, yeah. excellent. Okay, so there is this one. What else are you actually working on? I know that you've got a lot of different projects. <laughs> yeah, there's, a, there's a lot going on. Oh. Um, Enlighten uh, us. I will. <laughs> <laughs> Myself, personally, um, I've produced this six-part uh, sitcom with my friend Ellis Candy. Uh -huh. uh, we kind of wrote it together. It's basically about an out-of-work actor. Right. Um, <laughs> a, rock, uh, a rock star, Ellis. Right. And um, their third housemate, Lisa, played by Charlotte Barnes, who you saw in Writer's Block, playing the barmaid. Right, right. We're Excellent. hoping to release that online. We started filming it a couple of weeks back. Excellent. So uh, is, it, is it a short film? Is it a television series? Uh, it's a six-part sitcom. Oh, fantastic. Yeah. That's that project. Um, myself and Harriet, because we both worked so well on Doctor of the Red, we think. We well, like to think we work so well we together. Like to think so. um, we're going to start right. We recently started penning uh, the second feature. Really? Which we're hoping to start filming back end of next mm, year. Something like that, yeah. Something like that. Ah, tell us about that. Much bigger uh, one. Yeah, uh, we're going to need a budget for it. Let's just Wait, put it like that. Right. <laughs> okay. <laughs> May need a bit of cash. <laughs> <laughs> Um, we kind of want to give too much away just yet, because it's still in the early stages. Um, at the bare bones, it's a rock and roll road movie. Wow. It's, yeah, it's a person who just wants to give it yeah, up they, and they try basically, again somewhere else. Yeah, they, they're not happy with where their life's going, so they decide to throw everything away and just... Drive. <laughs> drive. Fantastic. That sounds wonderful. That's yeah, it's great. it's going to be good fun to, to write it. Yeah, it's going, be, it's going to be a blast doing that one. Excellent, excellent. Now, kind of a more of a general thing, a bit of a theme running here, as you most probably guessed. Film in this area. Yes. In your opinion, what is its state right now? Has it changed? Has it moulded? Oh, How do you see it? Definitely changed, I'd say. Um, start, the change may have started a couple months back around the time of this other film festival. I think it was called the Red Carpet Screening Number One. Oh, right. um, <laughs> and since then, it's all, the filmmaking community has definitely snowballed, definitely grown. Um, I don't know, it's more like the, we've, all, we've all come out the woodwork. So yeah, <laughs> I think someone. Where do you yeah, It was kind uh, of it was said perfectly earlier um, that at one point it seemed like filmmaking in Basing so it was a kind of solitary hobby, mm. um, and then everyone kind of came together here in Central Studio and was like, "Hang on a minute, <laughs> <laughs> there's there's about there's twenty of us. us. <laughs> there's where have you all come from?" Yeah. And it's from then I think everyone's kind of networked together so well since then, and I think it's definitely continuing. Everyone's helping each other out on their films. Um, there's definitely going to be a boom, I think. It's going to keep growing. 
That's don't make sense. Sense. Mm. That's wonderful. Yeah, I mean, when we first started, like, three years ago, we were like, where do we start? Who do we go to? Where Where is everybody? Mm. You know, are we just two kids at the yeah. back of a bus coming up with a crazy idea? Yeah. And now we know people to go to. We've got the network. There's mm. people here, and it's definitely going to be a platform to go from. Fantastic, fantastic. So how would you like to see it develop? What would you like to see in the future? What would be kind of the ideal in your um, eyes? People... Um, outside of Basingstoke, taking Basingstoke seriously as a kind of centre of art, really. Taking <laughs> really? Basingstoke seriously full stop would be a bit yeah. better. <laughs> there's, just, there's so much talent and creativity in Basingstoke, but it just, no one else just seems to really know about it. Ah. And it would just be nice for people to kind of, when they think independent filmmaking or a you know, centre of creativity, to think Basingstoke. That would be nice. Okay. Yeah. Excellent. Well, we certainly, we certainly shall try. Absolutely. <laughs> yeah. So, um, here we have the uh, trailer. For a Dr. Shed of here for one person. Hey? My daughter, Kate. Aha, uh -huh. that must make you the infamous John Shepard. How do you know about Kate? We need to talk. Do you even know where I am? Someone said muscle. You just seem to treat people like chess pieces. This isn't a game. You're a wild animal, Johnny. Who knows what you'll do next? You don't run this town. Someone much bigger than you does. And they're just letting you have fun. I'm sure you're ready for her when she comes for you. 